Okay, everybody, thank you for joining us today. Today, I will be showing you how to make and apply your own Xbox 360 theme. Now, you can't really change colors with this, but you can change that background picture. This tutorial is only going to show you how to use it for the new Xbox experience. If you're looking for the old one, I suggest a Google or YouTube search. Okay, so let's get started. For this, you're going to need Photoshop or GIMP. I will post a link to the GIMP's download site on the comment box. Um, so first, what you want to do is open up your internet browser. And you want to go to Google and type in 360 theme template. And it should be this one right here that says, you know, but on DeviantArt, you want to click it. And uh, this is a preview of how the theme uh, looks and works. Um, the red is basically the part you will not be able to see because if you've used the new Xbox experience dashboard and everything, you know that that part's covered by that gray slab covered by boxes and all that so what's not in red is what you will actually be able to see when you apply it so what you want to do it's gonna come over here click the download link Ta -da. there you go that's what it looks like okay so you can quit your internet then the next thing you want to do is come down and open up Photoshop or GIMP what you want to do is you want to open up what you just saved. All right, so this is pretty much what it looks like. You can see they put in some uh, ruler guides for us. Um, again, red is what you will not be able to see. So the next thing that you want to do is open up whatever graphic you wanted to use. I wanted to use something really cool like grungy and I don't know, not that, not that. Ooh, that could be cool. But yeah. perhaps an evil clown. Or you could put a couple of pictures together, you know, whatever. I personally kind of like this one. So, uh, if you know Photoshop, you know, you don't even have to listen to this part, but for the people who don't, uh, what you want to do, whatever image you have, you want to select it all. By You could either do uh, select all or just do control A or on Mac, command A. Copy it. And you want to paste. Now don't freak out, it's huge. It should be on its own layer over here. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna use the move tool, move it. Now what you wanna do is you could do edit uh, tra free transform or control T, command T on Mac and grab it, hold shift so it doesn't change it too much. Shrink it down, keep moving it. Shrink it down, keep moving it, you know, get it down to the size that looks like it could fit, or at least the size of what you want to fit. Like for me, I kind of wanted to fit most of the entire thing. Um, let's see if I stretch it, will it look really bad? Not really. It's cool. See, for me, that's kind of what I want it to look like. So now I'm going to like have to center it, though. All right, good enough for me. All right, hit enter to accept that. And over here on your layers, you'll notice that layer three, which is our skull, 
is on top of layer 2, which is the problem, because what we want to do is see what we won't be able to see. So you want to come down here, beg layer 3 to be under layer 2. So there you go. That's what it's going to look like when it loads up. All right, so that's how it's going to look. So now what you want to do is you're going to want to do file save as put it anywhere put it like on your desktop or something and just call it you know the skull theme or you know whatever you want it to be okay just let it save let's save you can close you can close and quit um then the next step that you want to do is that's great okay Next thing you want to do is it's right here, right? So the next thing you want to do is plug in a memory stick, or if you have a memory card with a memory card reader, plug that in and drag this onto it. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I'm going to plug in my memory stick right now. On Mac, you know, it's going to mount itself. On Windows, I believe it just appears. Um, wait for that. There we go. There you go. Double click it, open it. Voila. Um, now, what you want to do is you want to just drag it on. Simple as that. Let it copy. Boom, it's done. Uh, just to show you some other examples of things you could use, um, you'd have to put it on that template again. But here's a here's a picture that you could uh, use. Not very good, but again, you could do you could find anything online as long as you don't you know reproduce it. And if you do, you have, you have to get permission first from the original person. But look, here's this one found that one online I'm not going to use it but I believe this one I found online off of a, just a Google search yep and that's what I have on my 360 right now um, but yeah so your skull themes right here or my skull theme and the next thing you want to do is eject your memory stick or safely remove it on uh, on Windows what you want to do is you want to go to start my computer uh, find the memory stick, right click and click safely remove. If they don't have that, you can click eject. On Mac, what you want to do is you can drag and select both of these, drag it down to the trash and hit eject, or you could just right click it and click eject. Wait for them to disappear, look at your memory stick, wait for that to stop blinking, or if maybe it doesn't blink, just take it out. There you go, done. Uh, then all you have to do is go to your 360, and that's where this video will continue. Later.